Hi you guys and welcome to my channel. My name is Mallory and I'm a flight attendant for a major US airline and I like making YouTube videos here on YouTube and sharing my life with all of you. So today's going to be a little bit of a different video. I usually do like multi-day trip vlogs. That's what most of my videos are. But today is just going to be a day in my life at home and I live not at base, so I really try to make the most of my days at home and kind of just enjoy my home routine. So this video is going to be different, but I hope you still like it. Today is my first day off after a six day stretch of working. So I'm really going to just focus on kind of relaxing and resetting my house and kind of just taking care of some chores that didn't get done while I was gone. But today is also mine and my husband's two year wedding anniversary. So we are going to do something fun tonight and go out to a nice dinner. So I will bring you guys along for that too. So right now I'm literally just sitting on my couch and drinking my coffee. One of my favorite things about being home is being able to drink my own coffee and have access to all my coffee stuff. I've got an espresso and milks and creamers and all that kind of good stuff. Cause when I'm on the road at work, I drink a lot of airplane coffee, um, hotel coffee, overpriced Starbucks. So I just like being home and being able to make my coffee exactly how I like it. Then I'm also catching up on my shows. Right now I'm watching Below Deck Mediterranean. I love that show. And I'm also, something different today is I'm working on some computer-based training for work. We go to yearly qualification training, usually once a year, but this year is different. I had to go twice because we are getting a new aircraft and so gotta go twice to um, get qualified on the new plane which I'm really excited about um, but yeah so it's pretty much all just like little online trainings their safety security aircraft um, medical all that kind of stuff and it just keeps us up to date on all of our policies and procedures for day-to-day -day operations but also emergencies okay guys a package just got delivered to my front door and it is something for me and I'm going to unbox it with you guys. Okay, so this is the Travel Crew Flight Crew 5, the 22 inch uh, two wheel roller. So only two wheels, which I've only ever had a four wheeler, but because I travel with three bags, like I carry a lunch bag, I think a two wheel will be better for me. So I'm really excited. I can already tell like this handle just feels good. And it's got all these like exterior pockets, which I'm really excited about. Like this really big one, I can put so much stuff in there. Yeah, I like that. Okay guys, and I just saw that it's got this pocket on the back too. It opens up pretty wide, so that's good. I might be able to put my laptop in there sometimes. Okay, so I've had breakfast and coffee and done some of my online computer training. I only have about four left, I think, so it's pretty good for today and they're not due until the end of the month. So now I'm going to move on with the rest of my day and take some vitamins, make the bed, and get ready to go to the gym. Okay, two supplements that I take usually just whenever I'm home just because they come in glass bottles like this and they are not very easy to travel with are uh, colloidal silver which is for your immune system it is literally like liquid silver you just do five dropper fulls and you hold it under your tongue for 30 seconds and then swallow and then I do uh, these D vitamin D3 and K2 drops there we go and yeah it's just vitamin D3 and K2 and you do two drops of these also under your tongue and you just swallow those as well. So I always do these at the same time, hold them for 30 seconds and then swallow. And it's just good to keep you healthy.
and I need to get gas first because I have like less than fourth of a tank. But after the gym, I think I'm going to run to Target and get some cleaning stuff because there's a lot of cleaning I want to do around the house today. So I probably won't film any at the gym just because I don't want to make anyone uncomfortable, but I'll take all the Target with me and yeah. And y'all, it is finally cooling down a little bit in Texas. And by cooling down, I mean it's like 85, but not like 97. But I think I will probably go get some pumpkins today. I like to get like real pumpkins every single year and I give them a bleach bath so they will last. And then I put them out on the front porch. So that might be another thing that we do today. And I also would like to get a fall wreath because I have like a regular wreath that I keep out year round. And then I also have like a Christmassy type wreath that has like red, um, what are they called? Like, are they cram no, cranberries? Are they cranberries? I don't know. Like the little red like berries that are associated with Christmas time. Um, but I have one of those that I put up, but I don't have anything that's like really fall-y or Thanksgiving. Those are definitely not words, but so I might go to Home Goods for the wreath because I can usually find pretty cute wreaths for a good deal there. And then I'll probably go to Sprouts or HEB for my pumpkins because we went to HEB last night to get stuff for dinner and they have a lot of really good pumpkins. retinoids or retinols whatever you want to call them for like three years I want to say but I've never used different which is like um it used to be prescription only but now you can get it at Target and stuff and I've never tried it so I'm gonna try that one and now I'm hungry and I haven't eaten since I worked out or since this morning before I worked out so I think I'm going to go to Chick-fil-a and get a grilled chicken sandwich just because I want something easy and quick with a good amount of protein in it so I'm gonna go pick that up now I would eat the leftover pasta that we had last night, but we are doing Italian for dinner, and so I don't want to have pasta for lunch and dinner. So yeah, I'm just gonna go to Chick-fil-A. Okay you guys, I am home now and I'm so excited to eat. I've got my chicken sandwich and my side of nuggets. I'm going to eat the nuggets first because I like the sandwich better, and so I just kinda wanna get them out of the way for the protein. And then I always ask for extra pickles, but I'm sure it's like not enough pickles for me, so I've got my jar of pickles at home. Okay, y'all, this is what I mean when I mean extra pickles. Like I want a pickle for every bite of my sandwich. Okay, guys, before I start actually doing my chores like I'm supposed to, let's try and put all of my old suitcase stuff into my new suitcase and see if it fits because, because, um, my old suitcase is a four-wheel suitcase, so it kind of opens like a clamshell and like both sides are the same size, they're like this thick, and they hold the same amount of stuff on each side. And then this one, I guess it opens like a clamshell too, but one side is where all the storage space is and the other side is just like a lid. And so when you look at it, it kind of makes you feel like it doesn't hold as much stuff. And my friend, he just ordered his suitcase too and it came in today and he's like, do you think it like will hold all the stuff? And I think, like, I think so. I think we're just so used to the four wheel suitcase that we, it just, it looks weird to us. And so let's go see if all of my stuff fits in this thing. Let's go. Okay, there's my old suitcase. The one filled with junk. Um, yeah, and it's like super full because I kind of overpacked for Hawaii, so the sliding is really bad. There we go. Um, but yeah, let's see if it all fits. Okay, 
let's see how it rolls. Okay, I think I like it. There she is. So I think the new suitcase was a good move. Okay friends, I am just getting ready for our anniversary dinner. I've done all of my makeup besides my lips. I have no lips on, um, but it's just my usual makeup because y'all know I can't really do anything other than a little bit of eyeliner mascara because I'm not good at eyeshadow. I need to learn, but I'm going to put my dress on. I'm really excited to show you guys because I am obsessed with this dress. I just think it is so pretty and classic and I just love it. So I'm gonna show you guys. Okay, so here is the dress. You'll get a better idea whenever I'm actually wearing it. It's kind of like a midi length and it's got these puffy sleeves and a little sweetheart neckline and it's like smocked in the back so it really cinches you in and it's so flattering. It's from Hill House. I'm not sure if it's just called Hill House or Hill House Home one of those, but I found them on Instagram and I have seen their dresses on TikTok too and I just fell in love. Okay guys, here's the dress. It's kind of showing up like black on camera, but it's maybe blue. And here is the sweetheart neckline and the puffy sleeves. And then here's the back, little square back, I guess. And I just love this dress and it has pockets I'm pretty sure yep there's pockets which makes it even better okay and then I moved you guys down a little bit so you can see the length so I'm 5'8 and I feel like it's a true midi on me it kind of goes to like the middle of my shins and then I'm gonna wear my perfume that I wore on our wedding day or this is just the original Chloe and the metal is kind of like tarnished, which is sad, but mm, I love this perfume. It just brings you back to my wedding day. And then I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna wear these espadrille wedges that desperately need to be like cleaned, but oh well. Josh was just betting on football games at our anniversary dinner. <laughs> he's, oh, now he's eating bread. home and Josh you left act like you are the, in the garage car open. You act like you didn't ride with me. I'm sorry, I thought you would remember to close the garage. There's probably someone in our house. I'm not going in until he checks in. Give me the green light whenever you get in. Come on. Okay, Josh got an oil stain on his shirt at dinner. So <laughs> now I have to figure out how to get an oil stain out. I've got lots of other stains out, but never oil. Yeah, there's a big old oil stain right here. I got oil from the bread on your shirt. <laughs> Josh is already in his PJs. <laughs> We're gonna eat ice cream at home. Can you show him my Stanley cup? Oh yeah, okay. and then bring it over here. So for our anniversary, I got Josh a new belt because his work, the belt that he wears every day with his work jeans, it was like falling apart, it was pitiful. And then he lost his water cup, so I got him a Stanley cup that everyone like is freaking out over on TikTok. 
And I got him this really cool, it's like a charcoal with like light brown handle. And I think it's really cool and now I want one. They have like a bright pink one. I think that'd be really cute. But yeah, it's like 40 ounces. So he doesn't have to buy lots of water when he's on the road at work. since I vlogged. I vlogged the anniversary and then I didn't do any vlogging yesterday and now today I am vlogging again because it's my last day at home. I don't have a trip for tomorrow yet but I think I am going to go to base and try to pick something up. I only have two days before I start a three day so I will probably just pick up a two day trip. So I am doing my usual getting ready to go back to work routine. I just went to the gym this morning and now I'm kind of just cleaning up around the house and I wanted to show you guys because I got my pumpkins yesterday for the season. I like to get pumpkins at the beginning of October and then leave them out on my front porch as decoration for October and November. And so they are currently soaking in the bathtub in um, a mixture of bleach and water. It's called the bleach bath and it's supposed to help your pumpkins last for the whole season. So they've been soaking for a really long time. I don't think you really have to do it that long, but I just put them in last night before we went to bed and they're still in there so let's go check on them okay so here are our pumpkins i've got two big ones and then three smaller ones these are called um i think fairy tale pumpkins these three and then that one had a funky name too but i can't remember it and then that was just called a white pumpkin so i think i'm going to drain the bathtub and let them dry out and then get ready to put them outside and also when I was out getting pumpkins yesterday, I also got a new wreath for our front door because I have like a regular wreath that I keep up year round. And then I also have like a fall wreath, or no, a Christmas winter time wreath. So I wanted to get something for fall. I think I told you guys that the other day, but let me show you the one that I found. It is so cute. I'm really excited for it. Okay, so here it is. It's so cute. It's got these little orange pumpkins all over it and then like little red leaves tucked in and then some like I don't want to call it a branch, but it's not really, is it twine? No, it's not twine, but it's got this little thing like weaved in through all of it. And I just think it is so cute. I love it. Very, very fall Thanksgiving. Okay guys, I finished all the dishes and then I remembered I got a Sephora order in yesterday. So I figured I would show you guys what I got. This is the Milk Hydro Grip Primer. I love it. It is my go-to i've researched it so many times and then this is just a travel size of the polish choice um two percent bha liquid exfoliant i got this because i have a big one and i needed a small one to travel with so oh and i think i'll be able to refill this too that's perfect i love to have little miniature things of products I love so I'm excited to have this with me so I can keep up with my skincare routine even whenever I'm not at home and then the hourglass uh, unlocked mascara y'all know this is my favorite mascara of all time I always recommend it to anyone who is like what kind of mascara should I use or ask me what kind I'm wearing I always rave about this it is the best and I really needed a new one so I'm excited and then the new thing that I got to try is the, here's the box. Patrick Ta for Face Major Sculpt Cream Contour and Powder Bronzer Duo. So there's the box. And then here is the actual product. And it is a cream bronzer over here and then a powder, or cream contour and a powder bronzer over here. And I saw someone raving about it on TikTok and her makeup looked amazing. So I wanted to give it a go. Okay guys, I did just go to the grocery store. So I thought I would do a grocery store haul for the next probably five or six days I'm gonna be at work. I'm leaving tonight. Um, I don't have a trip for two days, but I'm going to try to pick up something to fill in those two days because I do not wanna sit in Houston and do nothing for two days. That does not sound fun. Uh, but yeah, so I've got two empty days I'm going to uh, put a trip on and then I do have a three-day trip 
but I might trade it for a four day. So I'm thinking maximum like six days I'll be gone. So, and this won't last me for all those six days. I'm sure I'll have to go to the grocery store when I get to Houston after I finish all this stuff. But this is just to get me started because I can only fit so much stuff in my lunchbox. The first, I have a spaghetti squash. I'm going to make spaghetti squash with red sauce and uh, ground beef. So this will serve as kind of like my pasta substitute. So. I need to hurry up and get this in the oven because it's three o'clock now and I need to leave for the airport at six. So spaghetti squash. And I got some little tomatoes for a snack. Bananas because you know I mash bananas to make my overnight oats. An orange bell pepper. A cucumber. This is just a little ripple vanilla dairy free milk. And I got this because it has a twisty top and I find like the small like milks that you can travel with like this they don't usually have like a twisty top it's usually like a punch straw like you would drink it all in one setting and I don't usually just drink a whole thing of milk in one setting so this will be good to mix with my coffee on the road because I'm still on my no Starbucks kick trying to be I didn't get any coffee last week at work so I was really proud of myself and then, okay, I try not to buy the seasonal stuff, but it just gets me. Okay, so this is the Birch Benders Pumpkin Spice Paleo Pancake Mix, and it just sounded so good. I love pumpkin anything. And then um, Lara Bar, I like those, and they had a pumpkin pie flavor. Seasonal, I know. I think that's all the like seasonal things I got, but I'm excited to try both of those. And the Paleo Pumpkin Pancakes, that might be my breakfast for this week at work. I might make like two oatmeals, but then I also might make a couple of batches of pancakes, strawberries, blueberries. Okay, and then kombuchas for buy one, get one free, which I probably should have gotten more to take advantage of it. So I got two watermelon kombuchas. And then here's Rayo's homemade marinara. This stuff is so expensive, but it really is the best. So I had to do it. Um, ground beef and then I got two of their like pre-made sandwiches so this is like a caprese ciabatta sandwich and then this is their chicken Caesar salad wrap so kind of lazy but also kind of not lazy because I am gonna make spaghetti squash for my dinners for the next two days but yeah there is my little meal prep grocery shop I'm gonna get started on making the spaghetti and then everything else is like ready i might prep like the cucumbers and cut those up because i don't think they'll fit my lunch box but yeah that's my grocery haul <laughs> Okay guys, I'm finishing up getting my things together. My flight's actually delayed, so I don't have to leave my house as soon as I thought I did. And when packing my new suitcase, it's definitely going to be a bit of adjustment just because it's a totally different layout than I'm used to. So I think it does hold the same amount of stuff, but it just holds it in a different way. So I feel like I'm like overpacking, but I'm really not. And yeah, it's just an adjustment, something new to get used to. So now I'm going to pack up my lunchbox. I meal prep some spaghetti squash, like I said, and then I've got some sandwiches for lunch and some oatmeal for breakfast. And I still don't have a trip for tomorrow. I'm not gonna pick anything up until I am like in base in Houston because I would hate to have my flight cancel or like not get to base and then be stuck with this trip and be freaking out, out on how to get rid of it. So I'm just gonna wait till I get to base and then I will pick something up. I just got to the airport and they've already assigned me a seat from standby so I don't have to worry about that and it is 6 45 now and they say the estimated boarding time is 7 25 so I've got plenty of time for that too and I have been what is that oh it's a flag um I have been noticing that I've been getting randomly selected for like secondary screening a lot more which 
that's not uncommon you know you will go through phases where it's like you're like oh my gosh I'm getting randomly selected every single time so with that being said I have been giving myself a little bit of extra wiggle room whenever I'm getting to the airport because I never want to be late or miss my sign in or miss a flight that is like my least favorite thing in the world I have missed flights before not working flights but standby flights and yeah so definitely always give yourself a little extra time Hi you guys, it is much later after this video is filmed, but I was just editing and realized I never said bye. So thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you liked it. I hope you'll stick around for more videos in the future. If you haven't already, give it a thumbs up and follow me over on Instagram and I will see you guys next time.